One of the most common questions asked about the Jamstick is, how do you play drum kits in GarageBand or Logic or whatever app or DAW you're working in? The answer is pretty simple once you know how the drum kits are mapped on the Jamstick's fretboard. Let's dive in and get this sorted out so you can start making beats with your Jamstick. The first thing to know about how drum kit sounds get mapped to the Jamstick's fretboard is this. If what I'm about to share with you seems screwed up, it's because it was designed by keyboard players in the 1990s. The system I'm referring to is called General MIDI, and General MIDI is an agreement that gave MIDI manufacturers some kind of standard for patch lists and other things, but it also included guidelines for drum mapping. If you are going to include a sample drum kit on a synth or make your drum machine respond to MIDI input, General MIDI gave you the suggested note numbers for specific sounds. For example, the kick drum is mapped to MIDI note number 36, the snare to number 38, etc. By the way, GarageBand also uses this drum mapping standard pretty closely. Not every patch you'll find applies the General MIDI drum map exactly, but the majority of the basic sounds typically are mapped to the following positions in this image. In case you missed it, General MIDI drum mapping starts one octave below the default jamstick tuning, so you'll need to press down on the D-pad to get this to work correctly. As standard as General MIDI drum mapping may be from the kick drum up through the tom assignments, you'll find plenty of variations in the wild once you get beyond the first octave. So if you download any of the great drum kits available from the Jamstick Plus App Store, and why wouldn't you? They're free and they sound awesome. The drum mapping will be consistent to most of the major sounds in the General MIDI standard. But when we start adding sounds that General MIDI had no clue would be available back in the 1990s, we have to deviate from convention. So here are the drum maps for each of the downloadable drum kits from Jamstick Plus. Since you now know where the drum sounds are mapped, let's get down to playing them. You can of course play them traditionally with your fretting hand and a pick or your thumb, but you can also put the jamstick into tap mode and just strike the notes on the fretboard with your fretting hand, or you could even get your picking hand in there too. The one caveat about using tap mode is that all of your notes will have the same maxed out velocity level, but you can always mix and match your playing technique between tap and default modes to generate the performance that you want. The next time you run into a drum patch in an app or DAW and you can't seem to figure out the mapping, understand that in general MIDI, the kick drum is supposed to be mapped to C2 or MIDI note number 36, and that can help you get things sorted out in a hurry. So grab your jamstick, get connected, and start making some beats.